Garrett Blevins here with another video. Got a bench workout for you all today with Dr. Jacob Gooden and Lauren. He's a former strength coach, uh, college level. He's now a researcher and consultant, works on force plates and all sorts of fun, sciencey stuff. Super strong dude, uh, hasn't been working out as much anymore, but he still may out bench me. Uh, just super jacked as you will see from the video. I'm excited to see if I can improve on last week where I did 365 for five. So let's see, uh, see how today's gonna go. Joining us today for the first time is researcher, sports scientist, strength coach extraordinaire, Lauren Green, uh, formerly with UCSD. So he's in town today. We're just discussing some potential research collaboration. So fun times, and we're gonna get a lift in, and uh, we'll take you guys along for the ride. Yeah, kids keeping me up all night. Daughter's teething right now, so. Sleep is at a, uh, a premium these days, but. Just gonna get in what I can. That's part of what being a dad and business owner and all that is, you know. It's never going to be optimal, but you just get done what you can. Talk out of the office. Is this what you're doing? Some warm up sets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, cool. That's one. Head back out. That was the, the grazing I was talking about. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's crazy how many reps you can sneak in a day. You just. Obviously, it's not condensing on the same thing you guys are doing, but yeah. you can sneak in a hell of a workout throughout the day, volume wise. Uh huh. Yep. I mean, especially the new environment. Yep. That's set right. here, set there. Oh, it felt a little better. Getting warmed up always helps. I can go high on the low side of it and damn near max out every day. Bounce back the next couple days, feel fine, like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But when I'm detrained, basically I can get near those same levels, but I fall off really quickly. Mm -hmm. So I'm, my maximal strength is lower than it normally would be. But as far as building up in a workout, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit tip over the edge here quickly. So I, mean, I haven't lost a lot of residual strength reserve, but I won't be able to do nearly as much volume, mm -hmm. and I'll feel it a bit tomorrow about the car faster. Jacked and <laughs> didn't we? Yep. Just do some cool stuff. We don't understand about that at all. No, <laughs> we, don't, we don't understand about when we get jacked. Let's go. Nice, man. Yeah, you got it. Easy. Easy. I had a thing for a while where I actually just didn't count on the bar. I just put on plates and put on colors to see what I can do. <laughs> And this is thicker and got. And I was, all right, that's good. That feels heavier. You go by width. Yep. Yep. What do you lift today? Uh, Twelve inches. Two feet. <laughs> Two Twenty-four feet inches. Today. Heavier than last. Okay. It's just one. I'm just, just feeling one. it out. Yeah, I think just I'm one. gonna. I think I got my top set picked out. So I got okay. a set of five. I got to blast through. So we'll all see. Right. Look good, man. Looks good. Back was in a great Smooth position. And breezy. Yeah. I'm trying a new thing where I lift in uh, actual shoes. Oh, you got this. Let's go, Lauren. Push, 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 push. push. There you Let's go. go. Let's Finish go. it out. Nice. There it is. Yeah, this is up there, man. Yeah, buddy. All right, Garrett. Wait the pull. Yeah, it just makes me feel bad about myself. How, how so. heavy was that bicep curl for you, Gary? Uh, you know, you know, I was just, I was leeching so much energy off of Lauren, you know, it's not even fair. Probably actually was pushing it down a little bit to make <laughs> sure. Pushing it down. I think that's what I, I had the thumbs going the other that way. That was a concentric accentuated lift? Yeah, exactly. Is that what you're saying? That's, that's, what, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So, yeah, there we that go. That was good. There we go. I appreciate that. <laughs> But you'd let me know if he needed a spot, right? Yeah, I'm thinking a little bit about it. I mean, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to push this set a little bit. So, I mean, I did 365 last week in undershot. So, I'm gonna go for it, and we'll see. This is for five, right here. For five. Yep. All right. <sighs> I'm not having the spotter just to take that. Close yeah. To line of death. Yeah. Yep. That's right. That's Jesus, take the wheel. 
closer to death, closer to God. Push, 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 push. Easy. Yep. Oof. A little this. heavier than I wanted. That was more like uh, nine and a half, ten, but Jeez. within the realm. So get my back off working, just put that into the system and uh, do my drop sets and uh, live to fight another day. But yeah, day. not not terrible. It's cool to see, interesting to see with an experienced lifter say, yeah, I was going for an eight, but probably nine, nine and a half closer to 10 and having that bit of granularity mm -hmm. versus again, you have that same thing with a certain athlete and even we're saying about even just knowing what's on the bar. I've had athletes, you tell them the weight on there and they go, I can't do that. And then they bang on five, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. well, how hard was that? Oh, it was a 10. Well, you just did a rep of five and the fifth one was as fast as and the easy first as the first one. one. So yeah. I know it wasn't a 10. In your mind, you hit a weight more than you thought you could. So to you, it's a 10 because you, that's already hitting past the limits you had for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so having that just a bit of, that bit of granularity to really kind of assess Intensity for you. What was that at? Um, it's, it's just it's interesting to see because I don't always have that <laughs> yeah. working with some younger athletes. Yeah. yeah, it's like a long, long time to acquire the skill. I still, I mean, if you ask me if it was a seven or a six, I don't. I still don't know if I could totally tell you. Yeah. Um, I really know eights, nines, and tens. Yeah. I mean, tens are easy, obviously, very slow. Nines usually can tell. Eights and sevens are already starting to blend. So, but if you know it's not a nine and you know it's not a six, then you can get somewhere in the middle and be okay. Yeah, yeah. for sure. There we go, easy. There we go. Nice. All right, what's your RPE? Oh, that's seven. Seven, seven. Solid seven. Yep, you look good. Right on. Yeah, that's real good. Kept my triceps in more, kept my shoulders back better on those. So it always seems when it's getting near maximal, whether it's just a single that's heavy or it's those higher RP sets, I tend to like unlatch my shoulders and try to like mm. push it out more using more like the delt and the chest instead of really staying locked in and punching my tricep through the bar. And that's when I start to fail. I mean, it'll come off the chest fast, get stuck here, but I'm just, where am I supposed to go? It's like, there's nothing left. So yeah. staying locked in is really important. Oh, belt's getting a little tight. Uh, mass game plan has been working. <clears throat> yes. yes. There we go. Squeeze. Right. Plus a little bit of tightness, but that's okay. Uh, what do you think? In your head, when you got kind of mid shin, you get to almost that sticking point there. What, what, what's your cue in your head? My cue is push. In my mind, it turned into a bit of pull mm. versus push, and I wanted to say push, push, push. Don't okay. know if that's the cue okay. in your head or if that's what it thinks with you. Uh, do the mo so yeah. so it, essentially in my head, and again, this is one of those like. Am I creating tension top down to the bar or am I sinking in the sit left them together and allowing the lower half to do the moving? Yeah. And it, as you were trying to kind of save and get yourself back together, it turned into pull, pull, pull. Because uh -huh. you're, you're looking to create that stability. Always helps to have multiple eyeballs. Yeah. yeah. But I am happy because 385 for five at nine and a half did give me 365 yes. for my back. I knew it. Anyways. <clears throat> So yeah, I started working on Evolve and basically AI for strength training really about eight years ago. I was working with a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients in my own coaching and doing a lot of repetitive tasks of programming. I mean, when you're writing a strength program, it's not completely brand new, totally off the wall. If you're talking, no, you make unique adjustments, but there's a ton that's the same. And so I started writing scripts where I was automating some of those processes that I knew this was the guts. I mean, if you're 14 weeks out, this is what your macro cycle should look like. Here's a few flavors, but it's gonna be something like this. There's only so many ways to splice the blocks together. And as I did that, I was like, well, I'm, when I have somebody with these weaknesses and these competition lifts and these styles, whether it's low bar, high bar, wide grip, close grip bench, uh, sumo, conventional, whatever, 
I knew that there were certain exercises that I was going to include at various phases to try to address weaknesses, depending on how long the training cycle was. Without the domain specific knowledge and being in it, I don't think I could have just worked with an outside developer to get an app put together to do it. Yeah. It's There's so much in-house. I think that's part of the, I would say the fear when we talk about AI and computer technology is that this idea that we're, it's the computer taking over and taking our job. It's like, no, if you're truly a domain expert, you truly understand what you do, you know what you're going to do when scenarios come about and how you want to approach that. What we're talking about doing is how do I streamline that process mm -hmm. to then say, if scenario A, if scenario B, if scenario C, within that, if sub scenario one, two or three, here's my, what I will be feeding into the AI, here's my knowledge that says decision, decision, decision. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, I think it's, it's really cool you put that in. I think I was talking to Dr. Gooden earlier about it, like, I think it's gonna become a standard place and those that are content experts will really be at an advantage and, and be ahead of the curve with how they really learn to utilize the technologies and utilize the tools to really advance their, their domain expertise mm -hmm. um, versus it, it taking over anyone's job because it only knows what we tell them. Yeah. Know. yeah, it's only as good as the information that feeds into it, you know, whether it's chat GPT looking at the internet or whether it's, you know, an AI system that's being fed by a coach uh, or you're making an expert system that mirrors their logic it's only going to be as good as the information you're putting into it. So you have to have people studying. You have to be, you know, driving that forward. The black box of AI of you don't know why it's doing what it's doing and <laughs> guinea pigging people if yeah. it's going to use a machine learning model. No one's going to sign up for that. You know, that's not what we're interested in. So the people are always going to be involved and at the core of any utilization of AI that's being applied to the market to streamline processes. You know, the people are always going to be there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Felt there good. Close grip set number one done. How many more? Two more. Two more. Two more sets of four. All right. I think I am going to hit my back off sets on deadlift and call it a day. Sometimes, like we were talking about earlier. You don't have time to train, other things get in the way. Uh, relationships, as we were talking about, more important. So more important for me to talk shop with Lauren and Garrett and, and uh, really hustling through the workout. And uh, you know, just got things to do and families to love and fitness comes second. <laughs> Let's go, Garrett. Yeah, buddy. Whew. Well, that does it. Good workout, good to get in here. Had to cut out some of my accessory work too, incline dumbbell press. Um, I'll pick something up like that later in the week or I'll just hit some push-ups, you know, put my feet up on a couch, do some push-ups in my house or something like that. With your kids yeah. on your back? Yeah, something. But you know, as goodness said as well, just run out of time and you can paralyze yourself with indecision and not go to the gym at all and just throw up your hands because it's not perfect. Or you can just make lemonade with the lemons that life gives you. So the choice is yours, but I'm gonna try and do what I can when I can so that I get as much out of the training that I can do. And honestly, sometimes you don't need as much as you may think you do. A little bit will help you maintain and not lose. Um, you can maintain on a lot less than it takes to actually grow to new heights. So don't lose what you have. Get in there where you can. You may be surprised at what happens. Mm -hmm.